whatever I do, I try to use as a ministry. So that's why I do bike ministry and sport ministry and whatever I can do. I try to praise God with that and connect with other people and share the gospel with them. Here in uh, Adventist school we have almost majority of people, of students coming from non-Adventist homes. And for them, these activities are the best uh, opportunities to uh, mingle with them and to see their needs. I spend a lot of time with youth here at the campus. Uh, since I'm a, I'm a teacher, I, I'm always at the halls, uh, meeting them, talking with them. My pastoral philosophy uh, is uh, to connect with people through different venues. And sometimes we use different activities, different activities that are, that are connecting people, spending time in nature. While we do that, we connect more authentically. My goal is for them to be healthy. My goal is to present the gospel as a holistic refreshment and as a holistic experience where, we, where they can see that to be a, a member of the church, to be a, a believer, is to connect with God in a way that it will bless their whole life. If you have an average good bike, you can participate in this uh, activity, but everybody can participate. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are young or old. There are no age limits. Usually we uh, stop at some places where, where there's a scenery or something nice to be seen. And then uh, through that we talk about the, the intelligent design and we talk about uh, the possibility of, uh, of this happening just by some cause or something. So that the, to be in the nature is to be impressed by nature and its design. Generally, the people, people are more open while we are uh, present at some non-formal activities. They're just being themselves and uh, they, they can easily open their hearts and, 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 and talk about topics that usually they don't want to talk formally. But when we are doing this kind of activities, people are open. People can see that we also care, authentically care. Um, that's why they open, they, that's why they ask questions and we can start conversations. Around the world, missionaries like Dan are using their God-given talents as a ministering tool. They get to do the things they love with people who share the same interests. God has given each of us talents so we can all play a part in this worldwide mission. There's a great need to recommit daily for the mission of the Lord. And that's why I call the whole church, Adventist church in the world, to pray for us and for our institutions all, all around the world. Uh, to be daily immersed in the, in the Bible, in, in the experience with the Lord, so that we can serve other people who are coming to our institutions.